MMA Plus here at UFC on Fuel TV 7. Danny Castillo, you just defeated Paul Sass. You ruined a uh, 4 and I run for British fighters tonight. Uh, how does the win feel? Feels great. Um, you know, London, the people here are phenomenal. Not too, uh, not too um, you know, the weather's kind of crappy. Um, but the fans are great. You know, I've got warm welcomes from, you know, I thought I was going to get booed at the Wayne. I got a great reception. Um, I've been taking pictures and shaking hands the whole time I'm here. So I really appreciate uh, the London fans. Um, they seem like they're very knowledgeable and uh, very friendly. There's no end of slams and the fancy escapes from Sass's submissions in the fight. Um, how much did you prepare for him coming into this fight? Um, I prepared a lot. Um, you know, I, I knew Paul Sass is a dangerous fighter. He's very talented and... Um, you know, I wouldn't call him a one-chick pony because he came out and uh, on his feet ready to bang, you know, which kind of threw me off guard. I thought uh, he would be reaching for my legs, but um, I ended up taking him down. Um, so, uh, you know, Paul, Paul Sass is great. Uh, you know, it felt really good uh, getting out of those submissions every single time. Paul gets a lot of attention for his submissions, but I believe you're a jiu-jitsu black belt yourself. Um, do you feel you overlooked in terms of your ground game coming into this fight? Uh, I'm a brown belt. But I think the addition of uh, my brown belt and my wrestling, um, my wrestling definitely complements my jiu-jitsu. And, um, and I, I think the mixture of the both and, and coming from a, a great team full of wrestlers, Team Alpha Male, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm up there in terms of, uh, you know, a ground game um, in the UFC. Um, so, you know, it feels good. It feels good to, to, to beat someone in their own game. You know, I, I was in Paul Sass's guard for a long period of time in this fight, and um, I felt completely comfortable. So you didn't feel the pressure of being in his guard? Not too much, not too much. Uh, you know, there was an arm bar that, uh, you know, might have looked uh, pretty, it, felt, it didn't feel bad, um, but it, I'm sure it looked pretty bad because uh, I could hear the people in the crowd like really, really chanting and, and, uh, and uh, getting after it, pumping it up. But, um, you know, I felt comfortable there. Um, the first triangle he threw on was really, uh, you know, really flashy. It was awesome, you know, kind of threw me off guard. But with the slam, I felt like he was rocked after the slam and um, I was able to get out of it. The heel hooks were, were great too. Um, the way he snaked his legs through there to try to stop my roll was, uh, was great. You know, again, I can't take nothing away from him. Paul Stass is a phenomenal fighter. Do those slams excite you when you're in there? Um, you know, right hands excite me. You know, I, I'd rather la land a big right hand than a slam. But, um, you know, here in the crowd, you know, you cheer the slams. That was also great, too. Anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, my whole team, uh, my striking coach, uh, Dwayne Ludwig, my jiu-jitsu coach, Fabio Prado, Dustin Akbari, and uh, my teammate, Justin Buckles, has been my corner uh, ever since my first WC fight. So, uh, those guys. Thanks a lot, Danny. This is MMA Plus on UFC on Fuel TV.